I love hitting the throat because if you're on the ground, Hey guys, it's Master Daniel, and today I have five techniques you can use for self-defense. If you haven't liked or subscribed to our channel yet, please do. We always appreciate more fans. Now, we all know the grueling kick or grueling shot is the number one go-to for self-defense, but there actually are other techniques that are just as good for any situation. So let's get into it. Number one is gonna be the eyes. Not only can you poke, scratch, or jam your thumb right into the eye, but it can do lots of damage. And remember, in any self-defense situation, you always wanna get a little bit skin, DNA, right underneath those fingertips. Number two is gonna be the nose. A big elbow or punch straight into that nose, no matter how strong you are, anybody getting hit in the nose is going to cause lots of damage. Number three is gonna be the eardrum. Have you ever taken your hand and just like cupped it and pressed it up against your hand? Don't do it too hard. But when you do that, you can feel a bunch of air push in. If you do that hard enough, which again, don't do, you can actually burst someone's eardrum. It's a great technique to do and it comes out of nowhere. Number four is gonna be the temple. Now, I don't recommend it that much, but the temple is this soft spot right about here. Not only if you hit it, with an object or with whether it's your fist or hammer fist position, but it can do a lot of damage. The reason why I don't recommend it too much though, but it is good to know, is because it's hard to get, especially if there's a height difference. Sometimes it might be hard to get in that spot, especially during a high stress situation. So it's easy to miss. Last technique is number five, the throat. I love hitting the throat because if you're on the ground or they got you bear hug style or whatnot, not only can you jam your fist into their throat, you can elbow, you can palm strike it, you can literally do a lot of damage into the throat area. So no matter how much I lift weights, this part of my body is gonna be hard to defend and condition. Let me know your self-defense tips below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. These are just five tips that I know that I like to teach. I'm a big believer on teaching things that are easy and simple to use. But don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.